Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habitu fillah from some of the things that nullify our ikhlas shirk al-akbar shirk al-akbar meaning the shirk which takes you out of the fold of Islam of course this is negates ikhlas negates sincerity and the sincere worship of Allah azza wa jal thanian the second thing is shirk al-askar, the minor shirk, like showing off and so forth. And that also negates ikhlas and can nullify the deed in which you are committing shirk in. For example, if you're praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you begin to show off in that deed, then this can nullify that deed while still you remain a Muslim. Some of the other, which is actually far'an, or is a part of what we already mentioned, is things like riya and suma. Riya meaning uh, doing things to be seen by people. So, for example, the person who perfects his or her prayer because people are watching. Then this is riya, and this can nullify your ikhlas. Likewise, a suma, doing things so that you are mentioned and praised and the people hear about you for fame so for example the person who does dawa to become famous because they want to be heard by the people they want the people to mention their names they want the people to to uh, support them financially and be uh, you know and for them to be the hizb that's supported by the people in order to be heard and have their name mentioned by the people, then this is also, this negates ikhlas. And this we can find examples of this in the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the hadith of the first people who will be called to account on the Day of Judgment. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, In al-awl al-nas yuqda alayhi yawm al-qiyamah rajalan ustushida. He said, from the first people who will be judged on the Day of Judgment, is a man who was martyred and he will be brought before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he will say and Allah will say fiha," and the man will say the, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say what have you done for me you know or what have you done and the man will say fika and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, will say kadabd so the man will say, I fought until I was martyred for your sake. And Allah will say, you lied. But rather you did it so that the people would say you were someone who was brave. And they did. So this person did it for Summa. Did this act. They were doing it so that the people would praise them and mention his name. So that nullified his excellent deed of being martyred in the path of Allah. So it was nullified. And he received his reward in the dunya, his summa, his being praised by the people. And this is what we want to avoid. The last thing, or one of the last things, is aradat dunya bi amal al-akhir, is wanting and desire, desiring things in this life at the expense uh, of the akhirah, of, of the deeds of the akhirah. So perhaps taking uh, aspects of the dunya over your worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, maybe the person who delays their prayer or leaves off the prayer because they're so involved in their work or they uh, are trying to get extra money, they're trying to do reach some other status in the dunya. So they leave off their amal fil akhirah. And the last thing, ahabat fil is al-hawa, is the desires. So a person may do things just to support his or her desires at the expense of the akhirah and at expense of ikhlas, nullifying their ikhlas. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from all of that.